Hi, this is Dara, and I want to welcome you back to my series on how I set up Notion. Um, if you haven't seen the first two videos, I encourage you to go back to the beginning where it all started. Um, the purpose of these is not just to see like how I'm using Notion, but to see how I made Notion work. So uh, this for this video, we're going to be building our projects table. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. And I'm going to call this projects. Now I could just create this as a table. So far I've been creating uh, a page and then putting tables on them, but this one I still want to actually have some elements that live above my project. So we're gonna do another inline um, table here. So So I already know there are a couple of things that I'm going to want to build out, which is a template for a complex design dev projects, template for client projects. Oops, I said client for templates, that's funny. Templates for client projects. And then a template for small for personal projects. All right, and so I'm not going to do that just now. I just this is something I'm going to build later. Um, I'll probably put it show you in a supplemental video how I do that. So stay tuned. Right now, this video wants to focus on actually creating that projects table. So again, I'm doing an inline table, and it projects. Um, last time I edited the whole table in this view, but I'm gonna open it up and show you that you can actually edit these properties while looking at one record. And if you have a table that's complex and has a lot of different things on it, it, it actually is easier to do it this way than working on that inline table where the, where the fields are you know, scrolling out of view. Actually, let's be more creative. Let's call this Acme. Acme. Um, I want to give it a type. All of my client projects have a billing code that I use for my timesheet. And then projects can be closed. So I'm going to go ahead and create that closed status. <clears throat> and that's it. So I am going to tie this to task. And so I'm going to show that um, in the in the next video when I create the task uh, project. So let's go ahead and create some more. So I've got my herbal project. Um, let's call the side gig, or let's say I have another one called Cyberdeen Systems, and Wonka is going to be my side gig. All right, now let me just show you, show you something here. So I called the side gig. If I wanted to change the name, I can come in here. And as soon as I highlight, there's these uh, ellipses. And it gives me the chance to change what it says, delete it, change the color, etc. All right. And oops, I reversed that. This is a work goal. This is a personal goal. And then the book. All right, just a couple in here just so we can see how that works. So that's that's setting a project. And remember, like this is going to be um, a page. And when I when I come in here um, shortly, like I'm going to add more content to this than um, just saying the title and, and the properties. I can, I'm going to use it as a page. So you'll see that in you know coming shortly. There's some more tables that I need to build before I can do that. Um, 
Okay, so I can create these as a page and uh, just for fun, for kicks, like I'm going to go through and I'm going to build these templates to be the way that I want them to be. But let's go ahead and just create a quick template and show you how I can make use of that. So I'm going to create a bracket. I'm going to create a new page. And um, just to shortcut, let's say I'm going to just use one of the, the Notion um, templates. And uh, let's create this as a design spec. Now, this is not how I write my desi design specs. Like, this one's pretty cool. That's not how I write mine. So that's why I would need my own template. But let's just use theirs for a shortcut. I can come in here and edit anything that I want. Like, uh, you know, this is obviously related to what they're doing, but I can I can come in and put my own things. So I'm just going to keep it as is for the moment. Now, to create this as a template, I want to make it into a template button. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do a slash. I'm going to type button, template button. And then to configure it, I'm going to give it the name. So I'm going to say new design spec. And then they're saying, oh, it could be a, a, as a block type to do. So this is important to note. I can do any block type as a template. <clears throat> I can create a to-do list and have that as a template and then do that over and over. And I've seen some people in their daily setups that they actually have a template of to-dos of things they want to make sure they do each morning or each afternoon or whatever. And so they will just create a new a new set of this to-do list for themselves. I'm going to use this for my page. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and then drag this page into here. And now that's part of the button. And when I close it, let's move this table down a little bit. Oops. All right. So when I close it, I now have this button. If I want to configure it again, I click on the gear, right? Or I have more actions here where I can, you know, get in there and comment on it or whatever. Like maybe say, this is make this match our design specs or what have you. All right. So now to use it, I just click on it and then boom, here's that new design spec page. And I could come in, change the number. So maybe this is, um, Hazel's brooms. Okay. And then, um, remember how before I dragged in in the goals, I dragged in my text. Remember, these are pages. So I can drag in a page. And now when I open this, I've got this database entry that's actually based off of a template. It's based off of a page. So that's going to really help a lot um, as I'm creating my projects. Like when I, I don't have to start with a blank slate when I create a project. I can create a project that I have a template for. So a complex design dev project. I have a particular way that I like that structure to be set up and particular things that I wanted to do. And so I can create a template that does that for me every time. So um, that's just to show you how to do that. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, like, you know, there's, there's so much more still to go in terms of like learning the complexity of Notion. And it really is once you get all the tools, it's a game changer. So come back next time. You know, this is, this is really getting nerdy and fun. And I, I just love doing this. So, and especially because I haven't even shown you the different things that tables can do yet. We've just created tables. So in the next video, I am going to start showing you with task, um, well, let's go back, Mark, this is done. With the task stream, I'm going to start showing you how I can, you know, start tying these things together and how I can have different views of those table structures that I have. Um, all right, so again, I'll talk to you in the next video.